Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new server launch. This is Ornate RSPS and they are a server that's coming to us very soon. They're launching on June 4th at 6 p.m. GMT and it's looking like quite a awesome server. So far from everything I've checked out and talked to the owner about, there's a lot of awesome and unique custom work done. So many unique items and custom pets and different features. And it's looking like a really fucking solid and awesome server overall. I really hope you will all check it out. And yeah, before we get into all the details and information, everything you'll want to know, there's also a giveaway in this video for a $20 bond to one winner, a $20 bond to a second winner, and a $30 bond to a third winner. All you gotta do to enter this giveaway is like the video, leave a comment down below with your in-game name, and be subscribed. Like I was just mentioning, this is a custom server, and it's got a ton of semi-custom and fully custom content. A lot of unique features, items, pets, all kinds of different stuff. All the unique work that they've put in, it's, it's just fucking awesome. It's really cool. I'm really fucking happy to see it. I just love servers like this that have added tons more to the game than just what OSR has had to offer. They even have this custom home. They have custom bosses, possibly a custom raid coming in the future. Some of the different cool custom items that they have and custom pets. There's a lot of cool unique stuff that they have. A lot of thought that's went into all these different items and pets and everything. It's just really cool unique stuff. Happy to see stuff like this. There's also pets with effects. Always love seeing some pets with different perks, you know? Cool, useful pets to help us in our grinds. Ornate RSPS also has their very own Wikipedia. Something that's very useful, very helpful on a server like this, with all these different custom items and everything. Stuff that we just don't know what it does at first. Well, you can hop on the Wikipedia, and you can check it out right here. Click on the equipment. You can go to different items. You can see like, oh, I want to see the melee armor. I want to see what's the best in slot and what the different effects on each thing are. Well, here you go. Ornate has quite a few different shops at home and ways to obtain different items, unique stuff that I haven't seen before. Even like, there's this wieldable hammer for smithing and construction in the achievement shop. You can get your void in here, a blessing that gives more combat XP, a few different boxes, Really cool stuff. Then right next door you have your Drunken Dwarf for the Stardust store. Some helpful items in here too. And next to him is the Wise Old Man with our Donator store. And there's nothing too broken in here or crazy. I love to see that. There's some unique different stuff. Some scrolls right here. Boxes. There's something that makes your boxes open for like a little bit better chance of rare. Cannon, cosmetics, a double drop lamp, and a XP lamp. And down here at the end, we have our vote shop. And you can even get these boxes for votes, which is super cool to see. You can either save up your votes, or you could be buying votes off of people. You can come spend them over here, get a nice cosmetic or nice box and try your luck at that. One thing I really love about this server is all the different cool unique custom interfaces that they have. Like for example this achievement interface, it shows like what your progress is on it, your rewards, all that good info that you need to know. You have a title interface so you can customize your title, like you can fully customize it or you can set it to some title that you've unlocked. They have a fully working collection log with all the bosses, all the different items, and even collection log rewards, which is something that's super cool and I love to see that. It just gives you more incentive to have a different grind and you know, if you want to go for a collection log one day, you could go for it and have more than just a full collection log, you have a nice reward to open at the end. So that's super fucking cool. There's also a fully working drop table and you can search both by item and by NPC here. So that's really awesome. Love seeing that. If you want to just search next, you can search it up. You can see the pet rate, all the item rates, everything, all the good info in here that we need to know. Ornate also has fully working presets. There's also this cool daily task manager system. All these different tasks you can do, different rewards for each one. There's three different tiers, so you can get 
different better rewards from the other tiers love seeing shit like this it just adds more you can grind for and get different passive rewards throughout your grinds another super unique and awesome feature the server has is called ethereal slayer you can unlock this after a certain amount of slayer tasks are done or a certain amount of slayer points and then you unlock it and then you can get ethereal slayer tasks here you can earn points that you can spend only in his shop with a bunch of unique items items that you can only obtain here that's really cool to see bunch of different unique stuff and behind him, we also have this ethereal altar. You can use it to upgrade some of the different items you can get from him. You can make some unique items that you can only make, only can obtain here. Best in slot melee cape, you can only make through the cape in his shop, plus a infernal cape and a fire cape. And back here in the corner, we have Admiral Remiel, where you can check your ethereal slayer rank. And the really cool thing about this is whenever you hit a new Ethereal Slayer rank, there's even rewards for it. You get GP, box rewards. Really cool that you can earn additional items through your Slayer grinds with this. Ornate also has quite a wide selection of bosses and lots of other PVM you can get into. So much that the server has to offer overall. It's quite wild. This is quite a unique and helpful boss point shop. A lot of different cool stuff you can get in here. Didn't notice this yet. Like this did you know message says right here, there's also superior bosses that even spawn, so that's really fucking cool. Different unique drop tables, I'm sure, for the superior bosses. And it just adds something more to the bossing grind. It adds something to make it a little bit more spicy. This server is going to have fully working PvP tournaments. Really fucking cool feature. Love that we'll have that. We can just hop in here, have an NH tournament or Derek's tournament or whatever is going on at the moment. And we'll be able to fight each other for a nice little prize. There's also a tournament shop where we can spend tournament points, I'm guessing, on stuff like bonds, boxes, a lot of cool stuff in here. And next to that, we have this portal. And through this portal, there's a member cave, which you can access through the wilderness. Or if you're Diamond Plus member, there's a safe cave. And inside that portal is a bunch of unique NPCs. It's, it's basically like a bunch of different unique wilderness bosses with unique rewards you can get from them. Love seeing stuff like this. It just shows how much work they really put into the server, how much unique thought and everything that went into it. If you head just south of these portals, there is a giant custom skilling area that they've also made. It looks really fucking cool. It's really well done, really clean. A lot of stuff here, make it efficient and convenient for our skilling grinds. Forgot to mention this, but there's also a bunch of unique Slayer things you can unlock. A lot of different perks. Chance at rolling double drops, killing bosses. Extra layer and keys. So many unique perks in the Slayer shop, so that's really fucking cool. Add some more stuff to grind for that'll actually be really useful. You can buy different things in the Slayer shop too that are not normal items you'd see in every Slayer shop. If you head just north of home, there is a bunch of juicy content up here as well. We have this little room with a bunch of chests for our key openings. And just up here to the north, there is a forging furnace. Really fucking cool feature. Bunch of different unique things you can make in here. Custom effects and perks on these items and armor, necklaces, boots. A lot of different cool items to grind for. You can even make the best in slot, melee, range, and magic gear here. It's got a hefty requirement, but it's just something cool to grind for and save up for. And then eventually we can throw these items in the furnace and we can make our best in slots. Also a few miscellaneous items we can make. And just opposing that is a shard furnace. Really cool that we can throw items in here and we can dissolve them and we get ornate shards. And then we can spend those shards in here for a bunch of different items. Some of these items are unique to the shop and we can only get here. You can also use these ornate shards like we just saw a moment ago, and you can use them to upgrade certain items at the forging furnace. So I love that. They got a really nice item sink here, so the economy will probably be very stable. And just to the west of that is a very cool, very well done custom raid lobby. I love how this area looks. This looks so fucking clean and so well done. And to wrap this video up, we're going to take a look at some of their boxes. Just would like to see and show you guys what the rates are, what the different items you can get from them, and all that good stuff. So good luck us!
Ooh, whip out of the purse. Ooh, brim ring. Cosmetic hat. Rubber chicken. Ooh, steady as helm. Use the key of drops on two of these. Ooh, a spectral spear shield. And you can get a bunch of different unique pets out of these pet mystery boxes. Hell yeah. <laughs> 5,000 anglers, holy shit, that's awesome. GWH. And a Ring of Suffering. Oh yeah, not bad. They look quite balanced overall, happy to see that. That is going to be all for today here on Ornate RSPS. I really hope that this video has been informative and helped you guys to learn what all the server has to offer. Helped you learn a little bit about the different unique items and everything else. So much on the server, it's really content packed and it looks really clean and well done. And I'm really excited for this launch. Much love to you all, I hope you all enjoyed the vid. And I'll see you in the next one.